Hola gente, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Continuamos con la segunda parte de la serie de Batman. El día de este puse muy emocionante. Eh, eh, quedamos en que Bruce Wayne supuestamente entra a una reunión, creo. Y aparte, el día de ayer pasó algo acá en Lima, Perú, que estoy muy emocionado y muy contento. Porque si por fin ya se desbloqueó Pokémon GO. Y ha sido la locura, la locura el día de ayer. Por todas partes los chicos grandes, viejos, todos han estado con sus celulares buscando los pokémones. Sobre todo en el Paki Kennedy donde les enseñé el video de los gatos. Ahí, ahí hay un montón de gente a buscar pokémones. ¿Por qué ahí? Porque hay más, más tranquilo y más seguro. <coughs> en cambio, en otras partes es un poquito peligroso, se puede decir, entre comillas. Yo no he podido ir porque, bueno, está lejos de, de donde yo voy. Pero... Lo, en el trayecto que fui a mi trabajo y regresé de, de mi trabajo he conseguido varios Pokémon, ¿eh? he conseguido este Poképaradas y Pokébolas, objetos y varias cositas. Ya he pasado el nivel 5 y estoy a punto de llegar a nivel 6 <coughs> con 30 po Pokémon. Eh, hice una prueba en una, en una, ¿cómo le llaman este? Porque gimnasio, bueno, me reventaron en una porque era de nivel mil y pico y tenía un Pokémon de doscientos y pico de nivel, pero bueno, era pa, para practicar nada más, así que creo que me falta un montón, pero bueno, es, pero está bien para empezar, nada mal, <coughs> me han pasado ni 24 horas y ya estoy en nivel 5, así que estoy contentísimo, feliz y emocionado. Así que dentro de poco, de repente hago un gameplay, cuando descanse un día, voy a hacer mi... Mi viaje en busca de Pokémon. <ríe> bueno, gente, ahora sí, no los aburro más y vamos con la serie. Ahora gente, nos quedamos en el episodio 1, parte 2 Y bueno, ahorita estoy un poquito mejor porque está un resfriado fatal Pero ya estoy un poquito mejor tomando agua tibia para que no me empeore Y un poquito, quiero darle un poquito las amigas, un poquito, leve Ahora sí, vamos a empezar Continuar, episodio Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to Harvey finally Dent. put your foot down. Together, we can step up the fire and save creo, ¿no? our great city. <coughs> If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. <laughs> Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. <coughs> my apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. <laughs> Aunque Bruce Wayne es más, es más querido, ¿no? Sí, me equivoqué ahí. Me he elegido el otro, el del vino. Sí. Bueno, ya está hecho. Pero para el próximo voy a usar opciones de Bruce Wayne que sea así altanero, creído, ¿no? Thank you for opening your house to us. Now I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. Where were you? Do you prefer the brooding um, billionaire angle? So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? 
And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face <coughs> on with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease. They're the wheels. Hablago por gota, odio el sitio. No, 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 una caramelo para el botón. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna <laughs> use that. Bruce, you know what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Uh -huh. La fiesta de los riquillos. ¿Quién viene ahí? ¿Quién viene ahí? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent, bien, viejo, tío. On Main bien, viejo. <laughs> but I trust your family. <coughs> If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. Mm. And we trust someone like you to lead este, this la. city to greatness. Well, thank you, but we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference, and that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. <laughs> no, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's a wild goddamn West. Oh, 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 oh. Está chocando, está chocando con Batman. Regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. <coughs> Bruce's help. We're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... I... Well, I don't like to think about maybes. <coughs> And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank no you. Queremos both. Recordar cosas tristes. <coughs> <coughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Mm -hmm. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, oh, yeah, and yeah, reporter yeah. for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. 
Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. La well, he X. doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. <coughs> you can stay. Thanks. <laughs> this is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party um, before all the champagne runs out. Uh, okay. well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Ooh, privado. Mr. Wayne, you've, <coughs> you've got something on your collar. <laughs> um, is that blood? Yeah. Um, it looks like... Uh, ah! Like oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me. Yo, que pego, eh? Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Mm -hmm. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. No me caes tipo. Mala vibra, mala vibra. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? <clears throat> the one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. <laughs> Yeah, Vamos a ver. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Me la quedo. Oh, the decor. A ver, no eyes. se lo puedo permitir, lo que se le vendré. ¡Qué una vista! Like privado. Talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Algo suena? Algo suena, coño? You're a man. Coño, ¿qué hago? Ah, te la mano. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. No queremos alborotar el gallinero. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there. Mm, I saw plenty of shit. Let me go with you for a few minutes. Bruce <coughs> stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect Por supuesto, that. Es mi casa y hago lo que digo. Not heard. Whatever. What did I say? Dejar pasar, coño. Eso. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law. And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks to me. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My Lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't even chin wag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, 
Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Um, I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can get the mayor's seat. Sí. Creo que suele ponerse un poquito agresivos, ¿eh? Sí. Whatever happened to be in a gracious sí. host. Okay, sí, porque no me está cayendo. No me está cayendo el tipo, así que... Si guerra quiere, guerra tendrá. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. Between your ver, ver, ver. Vamos a ponernos. Vamos a tener un poquito de salseo. No somos amigos, así es. Why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. This isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. <laughs> I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Debería irse. Sí. I think I'll have someone see you out. Así es. Okay. Lárgate. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. Sí, así van a ser las cosas. People don't say no to me. Así. Not for long. Pero yo te lo dije, te vas. Master Bruce, your guests <coughs> are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. <laughs> oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <risa> Ay, Bruce, güey, en lo que te has metido. Pero igual, está bien la decisión porque no. Ya se puso ya demasiado faltoso ya. No, ya no, ya. Ajá. Parece que así le comienza recién. En la primer, el primer capítulo creo que fue una introducción nada más. Uh, bueno, lo dejamos hasta aquí. Está emocionante. No vamos a. Aquí lo dejamos. Eh, hay mucho por venir. Se pone emocionante el juego y la serie. Así que lo dejamos hasta aquí con la intriga que pasará el día de mañana. Ese gordo. Mm, no la va a pagar, no la va a pagar. Claro que sí. Bueno, gente, gracias por ver este pequeño avance. Y mañana la continuaremos porque tiene aparato, tiene aparato. Gracias gente, cuídense, hasta la próxima, bye.